right. Uh, well, this week's app rehash is for Launcher Pro. Uh, they just released a new version. Uh, this is kind of an interesting story, too. I think I'm going to be doing another app rehash on this uh, in a couple months because uh, the guy that's developing Launcher Pro recently just published a blog post uh, that said that he's going to be uh, actually rewriting all the code from the ground up because the current version was written uh, basically from the default launcher that comes with, uh, I think it was, is it 2.2? Maybe it's 2.1. Um, but he based it on uh, Google's open source launcher app that comes with Android. So the there's there's been a couple things since I reviewed this. Uh, previously, we, re, we reviewed it in episode 20 uh, back on May 27th this year. So it has been a while. Uh this isn't in the in the latest version when it came out, but uh, it now has this scrollable dock where you can have one, two, or three uh, docks on the bottom. And it, uh, I don't know, it's that's that's pretty cool. I'm a I'm a big user of the dock. I like having uh, theme docks almost where I have oh, all my yeah, contacts cool. right here on this dock, all my social stuff on this one, mm-hmm. and then the main stuff I use for a dock right here. Um, but now they have doc gestures uh, for the app. So on Gmail, if I press it, and instead of just tapping it, if I swipe up from it, it will. I've set it to open Google Talk. So I don't oh. know, it, it makes sense for me uh, that uh, Talk is based off of Gmail. So I have it set up for the gesture right from there. And uh, it helps me conserve the doc space. You a, little, know? a little sidebar. Did you know they're doing away with Google Google 411? Yes. That's crazy. Totally. Yeah. Google I've got the, well, I've got that in the news story uh, oh, this weekend in the news rundown. Whoops. Yeah. Well, no, that's totally topical, though. Um, My wife was mad. Yeah. Well, me too. Like, I'm still showing people that because I'm like, look how awesome this is. You have a crappy phone, but you can still use Google yeah. with your voice just as if you had an Android phone, mm-hmm. you know, and it blows everybody away. What? I don't have to pay for 411 service? Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, and then now they're discontinuing it mm-hmm. like a bunch of jerks. Wah, wah. So, but I've also done, uh, like my Twitter icon down here. Uh, if I swipe up from that, it launches Hootsuite, uh, which is just another Twitter app, but it's like the pro, but, uh, I put a, a, a link in here to directly call my wife, which I'm not going to launch this. <laughs> um, but if I tap it, it calls, but if I swipe up from it, it will text her. Oh, that's so really cool. I guess I should probably, Ooh. nobody call the phone number. Oh, what sorry. phone number? I didn't see anything. What? <laughs> so, um, I don't know, like, it's, I've, I've been using ADW, uh, for a while, but this gesture thing, uh, is really bringing me back, That's cool, but, yeah. I mean, I keep switching back and forth, because ADW has, uh, some of the cool stuff, like, you can set widget sizes, you know, mm-hmm. which ADW, sorry, ADW Launcher is a competitor to Launcher Pro, so I guess I should, uh, spell that out, too, mm-hmm. but, yeah, I mean, this is, it's a pretty full-featured launcher, again, it has all the same... I guess I'm gonna review some of the regular stuff that I had. The pinch and it does the preview, like the HTC Sense helicopter view or whatever the heck they called it. Um, and you can do other stuff too, like indica- put an indicator on here to indicate what desktop you're on. And I I stick to three because I don't really need that many. But like right along here on the very bottom, when I move the desktop, you'll see it appears a little oh, yeah. uh, scroll bar. Ooh. So especially if you use, you know. Five or seven it, it, it's kind of handy to have that information but if you have that many it's easier to just pinch and, and pick one which I, one other thing you should keep in mind like how smooth this is working and everything and this yeah. is a g1 yeah you know i noticed that so <laughs> it's it's a pretty impressive you know they've been able to been able to keep it pretty pretty fit pretty lean so but yeah check it out for the new the new scrollable docs and the new dock gestures uh, to help you, I like it. Uh, keep stuff compact. It's very cool. Simplify your life with Launcher Pro. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and that's that's one word too, by the way. And they have a uh, like a free version, is what that's what I use. But they also have a donation version too. Hmm. So I think you pay two ninety nine and you get some extra stuff. Uh, they have some like special widgets and uh, some special like pop ups and shortcuts that you can use. Mm-hmm. Uh, inside Launcher Pro, so cool. Might be worth it for you. It is. 